What's up, my from Roach Fab. In this video, I'm gonna be making a floor mounted stand for my multi-tool bench grinder. This is the beast. I get a lot of comments, people telling me that it's uh, really dangerous to have it not bolted down and that I'm gonna die using it and I don't wanna die, so thought I better make a stand. Simple floor mounted stand, two plates on it, gonna cut it all out on the CNC plasma and I'm gonna weld it together using the pulse MIG function just because my welder can do it and uh, it's something that I don't ever use so I thought I would uh, make use of it and I'm gonna bolt it in the corner out of the way so the dust from it sort of um, is contained to the corner and not just flying all over my table. I'm gonna use this for the upright. This is a, this was a gate post. It's really thick wall, five or six mil, I think. Five mil wall. So I think for the height, what I want to do eventually is get another one of these uh, grinder attachments and have it vertically on this side. And then I'm gonna make an attachment for this so that it'll have a, a flat like a, a, a flat working surface here, so that you can set the working surface to a 90 degree to the belt, um, like that. But on this side, I want to have it up so that I'll have the flat working surface so I can work into it. But I still have this, the rounded surface on this side, because it is nice for deburring and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm gonna probably mount this two inches lower than this, I would imagine. All right, so the top plate, 200 by 320. And this is the uh, bolt pattern spacing. And then the bottom plate, which bolts to the floor, is gonna be 250 by 250. I'm gonna cut all this out of six mil plate. Lost the spectacle lens. Should have gone spec savers. All right, so got my pieces cut, just gonna clean everything up now. Got everything cleaned up. Ground all the mill scale off all the places where I'm gonna be welding. 
All right, so I'll show you a little trick for uh, marking out stuff like this. So you want you want to get a, a mark to get this exactly central to that. So whatever it is you're using as your centerpiece, take a measurement of that. 50, measure your uh, plate. Do the width of your plate minus the width of your box and then divide it by two. So 250 minus the width for that, 50, divided by two to get your center line equals 100. Then get yourself a combination square. Rather than set it to 100, I'll knock it back an extra 2 mil to go to 98 instead of 100. And that extra couple of mil will just put the, uh, the line just to the outside of the piece of box so you can still actually see the line because if you do it to 100 mil the box will completely cover the line it's a little bit harder to see so that gives you your dead center same deal if you've got like an offset one and then for this works exactly the same obviously you just do it um, for each width so you've got 200 minus the 50 of the box, 150 divided by 2, 75. Set that to 75, knock off 2 mil, 73. 320 minus 50, 270. 270 divided by 2, 135. So we go 133. Obviously you could just measure, you know, do that and get it where it needs to be. But when you work, you know, bigger square pieces or it's, you know, accuracy is, is um, important. This is just a better way because you can make sure everything's like this tube is, this box is square that way and stuff. All right. I've got this uh, set on pulse MIG mode, which is uh, something that I don't do very often, ever really. I'm going to attack opposite corners really quickly.
Looking pretty sturdy. Might be a tad overkill, but I'm definitely gonna use this pulse mode a bit more, particularly if I get any heavier sort of jobs in, just because it's, um, if you've got a lot of welding to do, it is a lot quicker. You know, if you're making a lot of stuff like this. So I'm not going to paint this, I'm going to coat it in now, uh, this is boiled linseed oil. Works pretty well for keeping rust away in it. And it actually dries, doesn't leave a oil, like an oiled finish, like if you just put oil on metal, this stuff actually dries, so like a hard film and um, obviously not going to protect it as well as paint would but I did that welding cart with this and um, there's no rust on it and if you look at like the table and stuff like that it doesn't have anything on it So there we go, one over-engineered belt grinder stand. Now I just need to uh, work out where I put it. I might have to put another socket in somewhere uh, to move it out of the way. Got some more CNC plasma projects coming up. I'm making a coffee table, which should be cool. And um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Just watch it, see you on the next one.